Last Thursday, May 27, 2010, the USGS live internet seismic server page showed something that, since I'm not very familiar with seismographs, that I think is very strange. This is a copy of a page that they have showing thumbnails of reports from seismographs that they have all over the world. And within uh, 15 minutes, they have every single seismograph that was operating showing a huge disturbance in every single one of them. All the graphs show a similar pattern. They start around uh, 5 p.m. This is uh, the first one that was discovered or was reported in Papua New Guinea. It starts at 5.18. It goes nice and smoothly, and then you have this huge jump in the oscillations. And it goes on for up to three hours. Right here it starts begin, begins to calm down a little bit. And every single station reports something like this. New Zealand, and the Pacific Ocean, Mariana Islands, Hawaii, all of them, all over the world. Texas, Yucatan, Mexico, Greenland, El Nino, Puerto Rico, Kenya, South Atlantic, Finland, Turkey, Norway, Germany, Spain, Brazil. This map shows the time and where they were all detected. So in a period of 15 minutes, most of the seismographs of the USGS detect a very large disturbance on the Earth. And yet, when doing a search on Google News, there are no extraordinary reports of earthquakes around the world on the 27th. There is one report of a 7.2 earthquake in Vanuatu and its aftershocks. All the other ones are older than the 27th. This is definitely a WTF moment for me. If the planet is not being shaken to its roots, as I'd imagine by looking at these graphs, what on earth are these seismographs detecting? Is there an explanation to this? And then, for the more esoterically minded, according to Johann Kalaman, one of the leading interpreters of the meaning of the Maya calendar, 27 May happens to be the day when the second of the last 260-day sacred periods leading to the birth of a new world consciousness starts. Is this pure coincidence? Any ideas? What do you think? <laughs>